Let off in a grand can be a super, super big headache unless you know a really good trick. Then it takes literally five minutes to do. Well, you pro five minutes, you probably could do the whole thing, but it, you know, five minutes tops for, for one section. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate, well, quickly, let's mention the way that, to do it traditionally is just one by one to put, kind of dip this in the, in the uh, underneath the strings and then just have the hammer come up and just kind of kiss the bottom of that of that uh, little wire there which should be that's probably a little bit less than an eighth of an inch but uh, that's that's kind of the idea and then just go through one by one and set the lead off there and then set the lead off there but this trick this jig is so good um, makes it so much easier so first let me say that the the section ends, so I do the white section ends f for, a, for reasons that, that uh, are not in the scope of this video, but, uh, but basically the white section ends are done completely, everything. Let off, drop, blow distance, dip, spring strength, all of that is completely done on these two section ends, which on this piano happens to be C5 and F6. So the let off right now on both of them is correct. Now, to do the ones in the middle, we're gonna use this. This is actually a homemade jig that uh, is pretty simple. Just some aluminum channel, some springs, and some, some little bolts there. And then we're gonna put it on, come, come check it out over here, I'm gonna put Put it on the uh, on these little bolts that hold the uh, rest rail. Put that on, and then clamp it on. So this is not in the section that I'm working on, and nor is this. So that'll just kind of act as a convenient place to clamp looks like yeah probably just go with that one and that'll that'll just be that'll be enough okay now I'm gonna set this to where it, it clicks but you can't see it so I'm just gonna turn that turn this little brass knob up and now it's to the point where you can see well that's the point. You can't see it move, but you can hear that little click. I don't know if my mic is picking that up or not. Okay. And then on this side, same thing. Right now, that's obviously way too high. And there we have it. Well, hold the mic up to it. There you have that little click again. And now, actually, this is, this is actually an important step because changing this one now messed up the first one. So I'm going to go back and as I'm playing it and you can't hear anything, so I'm just going to make little, there we go. That one's back to clicking. Now check the first one again. Okay, so now we have the jig set. That's the that's like the most time consuming part of this whole process. Now that we have the, the jig set, this is now super easy. Now you can see that is too high. You know what? I'm gonna set my I'm gonna set my mic down there. So it's just super obvious what I'm doing. That one's also too high. And just bring it down to right there where it's just kind of clicking. That one needs to come up a little bit.
get the idea, but I mean, why not? Because it's so fast. Why not just finish the whole section? At the beginning of this video, I made the claim that you can do it in five minutes. And once the jig is set, the whole thing just goes so fast. And it's super accurate too. I mean, you're, you're standard is frankly a lot higher than than using that that little wire that you that you put under the string and there it is that's the whole section now that that whole section let off should be perfect